uh, in this video i'm going to uh, get into some kind of job uh, job selection process in most of the product oriented companies now most of the product oriented companies like here i got some list so they mainly deals with the developing the products they have their own products in general so they look for the candidates with any degree basically and they look for specific stream actually this is stream as per the requirement so like let's say if they have any requirement uh, like they need some kind of programmer then they will look for most of the computer science students who can who know specific program codes like maybe a java developer or maybe any other kind of c c++ languages with the basic uh, skills so if they need someone like system designing probably they look for system design uh, kind of subject and they look for core technical skills into that so most of these companies they do campus interviews from of the top selected colleges uh, they don't really conduct interviews in all the engineering colleges or all the graduation colleges but mainly they do selection from top top colleges because they 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 look for candidates with the core core subject skills and most of the core subject skills candidates they can easily find uh, maybe 2 to 4 in one single college rather than conducting interviews on or spending amount on moving to different colleges the basic packages may may range anything uh, from 40 to 90k or even more than that it completely depends upon the type of the companies and the type of the job so i'm just uh, writing a basic average uh, per month like in india and what they look for they mainly look for core in depth skills like like i said an example if they look for program programming programmer probably they look for specific c c++ core subject skills if they are looking for any kind of uh, hardware design architecture something like that they look those specific skills so it completely depends upon uh, the skills what they are looking for now based on that they will select the candidates and they look for subject skills specifically and most of these candidates initially they they don't really you know they don't have any specific timings because they are more into kind of development and they even have an option of work from home because the they will be assigned with some task like they need to develop some kind of code or to make it run within this specific period of time so now it doesn't matter from where they work and how many hours they work but the end result actually matters and of course you learn a lot you get paid a lot but at the same time you learn a lot because you will be working on some kind of coding or developing some algorithms for specific products and even if you are a btech student probably in in this probably you have some entrance exam like gate exams probably that will also help you to uh, crack most of these interviews so if you are looking for cracking this kind of interviews you need to have core subject skills and that you can acquire by also preparing some of the entrance exams so once uh, you, if preparing the entrance exams Uh, will help you two ways you can easily crack the interviews because you will be getting in more in depth on uh, core subject skills like you have a different streams uh, for mechanical or computer science students or even for every uh, every stream you have a separate uh, preparation at the same time it will also help you to get into some kind of masters so even if you are planning for masters probably this will help you so most of the people who actually aim for product based companies they they need to build their core subject skills and this is one one thing i recommend you to do it uh, whether you are planning for a job or even if you are planning for any kind of masters so you can always go for masters like you can either immediately let's say if you are doing some kind of btech or graduation you can get into mtech or even you can do this way so get some experience and doing mtech also will add more value because by the time you finish this you got some experience along with the master degree so obviously the the package difference will be there but if you are applying for a job maybe after your graduation or maybe your masters there won't be much difference because you you will be getting into same kind of roles but of course having masters will will have a more in depth skills uh, there will be slight difference in the package but but really not a big difference so mostly people uh, who are having a better aggregates probably anything around 80 to 90 percent and who are having core subject skills they really aim for this aim for the jobs at the product product based companies so in case if you 
could not probably you can you still have an option of getting into service based companies or prepare yourself for for uh, the core skills either preparing for gate or and then you can even apply for the same company maybe after 3 months or 6 months uh, for the jobs